Hello folks, impromptu video time. On the bench here, our Model 3 drive unit, open source logic board project. Uh, since you last saw me on this uh, adventure, we're about three days in, and uh, there's a lot of things working on this board now, so I thought I would uh, invite you along and give you a little update as to what's happening. Uh, you might notice this multimeter, I don't know if it's going to come out on the camera or not, but it's currently saying minus 5.160 volts. And that's a good thing. You might notice the oscilloscope up here having this little waveform displayed on it. Uh, so, when you last saw us, we had powered up just the basics, the 5 volt and the 3.3 volts um lines uh but since then i've been working on the power side so you had two things to do there the first was to get the gate driver power supply working that turned out to be a little bit more difficult than i'd anticipated uh turns out plot twist um that i'm a bit of a clown uh, what I thought was a TPS40211 chip on the uh, Tesla board actually turned out to be a TPS40210. Now you might think, ooh, you know, what's the big deal there? Well, probably get this backwards too. The 40211 has a 260 millivolt reference in it, and the 40210 has a 700 millivolt reference. So the 40211 would not start up. And I was poking it and prodding it and trying to get it to do stuff. But then I realized that I had misappropriated um, some of your Patreon funds on this semi-cheap um, Chineseium camera. And I set this up with the laptop here as a monitor and did a bit more kind of uh, reverse engineering on here. And yes, it was a 40210. So I've ordered a few of those, but not willing to wait, and not willing to deprive you of the quality videos that you've came to expect over the last 15 friggin' years. Uh, I desoldered the one off the, the Elon board, put it on my board, and um, the power supply started working. But, uh, not long after that, we started getting a little wisp of smoke out of the gate driver transformer. It's, no, nope, it's stone cold right now and it's been running for about the last 30 minutes. So, uh, turns out, yeah, you guessed it, um, I had misread two capacitor values in the shunt regulator circuit that you'll see well, reversing displayed here computer um i had also misread one resistor value because it uses these weird three like just two numbers and a letter thing um so of course i had seen i had seen 55b as being 553 three you know three, yeah Okay, so that didn't work, and my regulator was trying to regulate at, it was trying to maintain all four of the outputs from the transformer at 5.5 volts, which was way too narrow a pulse width, which was then basically causing the transformer to become an induction heater. That's bad. Uh, so once I figured out all that junk, uh, we get a nice wide pulse width now, and our uh, regulation is in or around the 20 volts mark, which is perfect because that gives us, with the Zener dividers in there, it gives us a plus 15 for turning the transistors on and a negative 5 for turning the transistors off. So once I had that going, I then fitted the phase A gate driver chips. So these two here, probably where you can't see them. I have my probes stuck in here, reading voltages. And guess what, folks? 
Uh, the gate driver is powered up. And they're in, obviously, an off condition at the minute because they're in a fault state. You may notice that there's a red LED over here be beside the now combined uh, US and, 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 and Ireland flag. Um, don't worry though, there's, there's still the right amount of stars and stripes on the US one, so that's fine. Um, and, and you know, the reason that the gate drivers worked first time probably is because I didn't, uh, I didn't reverse engineer those parts, Arthur did. Okay, so that's where things are now. Uh, the next step in this operation is going to be to fit the remainder of the gate driver chips so we have all six on there. Confirm that all six have um, are in the kind of off condition so that they all work. And then uh, I'm going to have to fit it to the inverter because otherwise they're going to remain in a false state because they're DSAT circuit is not seeing the SIC MOSFET in there, the gate to source um, of what they should be seeing in there. Yes, I could frig it with resistors and caps and things, but um, I figure seeing as we're on a roll, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Finally, you may also notice that the current sensors are the current sensor block is fitted to this board now. Took that off the Elon board. Fortunately, the Hall sensors are not encased in his goo anymore, so you don't have to go through that horrible process like we did on the small drive unit board, where we had to, um, oh, where we had to, uh, you know, get everything up to the right temperature to get the current sensors out of there and all that. So you can pretty much remove the block and then desolder the current sensors. For those of you wishing to play along at home, they are the Malexus MLX91290, so the very same uh, sensor as uh, fitted to the small drive unit uh, logic board. So folks uh yeah about three days in so far there was only one area that i made a boo-boo on that needed me to cut a track so there will be obviously a rev 2 board here um that was on the current sensor uh for the gate driver primary transistor so there's a resistor there's a shunt resistor and there's a little uh uh, sent a little filter circuit, just a 1K and a 330 Pico that feed back into the 40210, not 40211, um, to just tell it that it's um, drawn the right current or not drawn too much current. Uh, so, yes, it's working up to this point. Uh, so, hopefully, in the next fun packed episode that i'm sure you all won't be able to wait for we'll have all the gate driver chips in if that works out we'll stick it in the um inverter and see if it'll drive the transistors and what is it to say on junkyard digs if it'll go a mile it'll go 10 and if it'll go 10 it'll go 100 so if it'll drive the transistors, it'll make AC. If it makes AC, it's going to drive a motor. And if it drives a motor, well, it's going to drive a car. So I'll leave you with that thought, folks. Thank you very much, genuinely, to everyone who has supported this madness. I cannot believe that it's five years that I've been at this crap um obviously don't continue to support me make sure you cancel any patreon or paypal payments and you know don't do any of that 
and uh, but do check the links for GitHub. I will put an updated schematic up on GitHub just with the changes here. Uh, they're just component value and one component that I had to move just in that current sensor uh, circuit. So do check the links for Open Inverter, GitHub, and all that good stuff. That transformer is stone cold. And how about my transistor? Stone cold, as you would expect. There's no load on them. They're just producing. Um, they're it's just regulating. I've talked enough, haven't I? I'm probably tuned out by now. So, until next time. Happy gate driver fitting. Oh, and the good luck streak won't keep going for long, I'm sure.